EGS, Gender and Society, Chapter 11, Western Women's Movement. Good day everyone, my name is Ruthie Ignacio from BSHM 2A. I am going to introduce to you my group members who will going to report about the Chapter 11, which is the Western Women's Movement in Gender and Society. The first reporter will be Madeline D. Marte, and the second is Jana Marie and Gregorio, and we are the Group 5. Women have been campaigning for equal rights for generations. Feminism is a range of social movements and ideologies that aims to define and establish social equality of all sexes. Moreover, it is a series of campaigns in reform in is issues such as reproductive rights, um, domestic violence, equal pay, harassment, um, violence, and all of which fall under the label of feminism and feminist movement. The feminism in the western part of the world has gone in three waves. This movement leads us now where women has uh, the right to vote, to be employed, to own an establishment, to speak, to lead, and to empower others. So, the first wave began in year 1848, when Mary Wollstonecraft, known as the first feminist, published her book, A Vindication of the Rights of Women. Olympia de Gogues was a French feminist, writer, and a political activist who strongly believed in the equality and justice for all. So, in year 1791, she published the Declarations of Rights of Women and of the Female Citizens as a response to the National Assembly Declaration. So, this period was characterized by the activism and campaign including hunger strike, convention, parades, and marches, for women's education, employment, legal rights, and for reforms of family life and sexual values. The second wave of feminism in the 1960s and 1970s expanded upon earlier movements to focus on deeper issues of womanhood and gender inequality. It challenged patriarchal systems, addressed marginalized women, and emphasized the need for liberation from oppressive societal constructs. Societal feminism emerged as a response to the limitations of Marxist theories, emphasizing the importance of recognizing and supporting both productive and reproductive labor. The movement fought for women's rights, including control over their bodies, and aimed to tackle broader societal structures and cultural norms. Affirmative action was initiated to combat gender inequality, promoting equal opportunities for women across various professions. Criticism led to a more inclusive feminism, addressing various forms of oppressions and considering multiple sectors of power. The third wave of feminism which emerged in the 1990s emphasized diverse global experiences and local activism challenging additional nations of womanhood and gender. <laughs> 